Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for Tuesday, 4th of April 2017. Now, most ex oh, already, I'm not even in the same room. Most exciting of all people, you might notice, I'm in a different location. Yeah, I've gone a little bit off piste. Well, usually it's in the bedroom upstairs, but my son has converted that into a wrestling room for him and his friend in the holidays. So just today, probably, I'm doing my monthly readings and my daily readings downstairs. So I'm on the sofa. Um, another patchwork blanket <laughs> made by my sister. And I've brought my brought my cards to town as it were it's quite weird I mean the lights not as um, the lights not as good as well either is it but never mind a good time is being had by all and that's what counts thank you everyone for liking sharing subscribing and especially for commenting thank you also for booking private readings I've got a little bit of a wait time at the moment because I'm quite booked um, but that's a good thing. If you do want to book a private reading, my link is in the pay. God, I've got a cold at the moment, so I may not make, it make sense. My PayPal link is below in the description box. Yeah, I have yet again got a cold. I think it's the same one, actually. It's a good thing you haven't got smelly vision, because I've been gargling with TCP. It's brilliant, though. It works. Wow. Now those are interesting cards. I'm using for today's reading the Mythic Tarot deck. Hmm. Nine of Swords in the upright as well. The Hanged Man also in the upright. And another nine, nine of cups in the reverse. Two nines, nine of swords. Nine of swords is kind of, you see his torturous thoughts. See this person with his hands up to his ears. These are torturous thoughts, kind of thoughts that keep us awake at night. Quite often though, being an air card, it's thoughts that in some way aren't genuine. They're in our, the top, the top half that does the worrying rather than sensing that there's something wrong or feeling that there's something wrong. This is thinking and strategizing and having sort of jealous thoughts, envious thoughts, those kinds of things, being haunted by things. Um, what in Harry Potter was the, I think it was the, was it Dementors? You know, when they're in that tunnel and all these sort of ghost figures are whisking around and it really kind of gets to him. It's, you know, having your buttons pushed, being triggered by things. These people have got snakes for hair, you know, and they're really digging into this person till he can hardly take it anymore. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum, the lovely Nine of Cups, although this is in the reverse, there are some high hopes with this card. Um, there is usually relationship high hopes, you can see in the background there, exchanging cups. It's kind of the wish card, you know, it's feeling lucky, it's feeling like you can get what you want. But this is in the reverse, and I feel that we are being tortured, that we can't have what we want, that for some reason we can't um, receive, it, we don't deserve it, or there are blocks, there's no reason why we can have what we want. I mean, partly at the moment, the energies are quite difficult. We've got this Venus in retrograde, it went retrograde on the 4th of March, and then... It doesn't go direct until the 15th of April, and even then, it's got three to four weeks after that 
which is like a shadow period where it's still kind of vaguely retrograde it's still getting its act together turning. We also go into Mercury retrograde in about five days time, again until about the 4th of May. So until May, a lot of us are going to be feeling like this middle card, which is the hanged man. Now, sometimes this, this energy, you know, is necessary. It's not maybe what we want. It's not the way we want things to be. We want things to happen always as humans. We want it all to happen now. But in this retrograde period, it's a very good time to review. It's a good time for a do-over. It's time to review our patterns. These are our patterns. We all have our go-to place when um, we want to torture ourselves. <laughs> it's reviewing those patterns, seeing if we can release any of those. It's reviewing what we want from relationships or what we've got in our relationship and seeing whether we can new and improve it. It's all about the retro. It's all about going back. It's all about digging over. It's all about reviewing. It's not about making things happen. If we do, you can push the boat out if you really want to. You can push the boat out during these retrograde periods and you can damn well move that rock up the hill. But you will probably find that whatever you make happen is reversed or changed when the retrograde period is over. So it kind of makes hard work for yourself, really. Unless it's to do with, um, if you can hear giggling, that's the wrestling upstairs. Unless it's to do with, let's say you're in an established relationship and you are looking over old patterns in your relationship, perhaps looking for couples counselling or something like that. That can be done, that's a do-over but not initiating anything new in love or business or even haircuts and looks and buying houses and luxuries and things are off the planet as well. Now, I can hear all sorts of terrible things upstairs with this wrestling business. I'm having to turn a blind ear. I'm just doing a Doreen Virtues Healing with the Angels Oracle card. Oh, go on then. Yes, we'll take it, Doreen. Divine timing. This is what we're talking about. One of those things, the truth will set you free, but first it's really going to piss you off. I don't think that Doreen Virtues is ever going to put that on one of her Oracle cards. I might have to make a set of oracle cards. <laughs> very, very um, down to earth oracle cards. It could be, it could have a cherub. The truth will set you free, but first, it's going to piss you off. <laughs> hmm. Anywho, yeah, divine timing, divine timing, not necessarily our timing. In fact, not usually our timing. Try and enjoy this energy. Try and enjoy the hanged man energy. It requires some kind of patience and looking outside yourself. And it requires faith. But actually this period of retrograde, this kind of hanging, as it were, hanging around, because he's kind of, it's like a voluntary thing. He's hit it, and it's supposed to be like there's normally a light goes on in the sort of head chakra, you know, the crown chakra. Yeah, he has his best ideas at this moment. So try and get into that energy and feel comfortable with it because it's going to be with us for a few weeks. So I hope that resonates with some of you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing and just watching. And if you want a private reading book in the information box below. Okay, see you soon. Bye.